Cats don't have a moral sense of right and wrong, and they do not fully understand human verbal and body language. Your cat may scratch your expensive sofa, knock things over, disturb you while you're working, steal food, or even chew on wires. And you may have been tempted to use some commonly used methods to address these behaviors, but unfortunately, they won't work. These methods include using a spray bottle, spanking or hitting, yelling, throwing objects towards the cat, and scruffing. These punishments only make the cat scared and may even perceive you as the enemy. They are not effective in promoting good behavior and can harm the bond between you and your cat. For instance, if you use a spray bottle to stop a cat's unwanted behaviors, they won't associate being sprayed with the bad behaviors. They are likely to stop what they are doing temporarily by running away from the spray, but they don't have a clue why they are being sprayed. You may think your cat is misbehaving, but they are simply expressing their natural needs and instincts as animals. As a result, they may lose trust in you without understanding why you're angry, which can lead to repeated misbehaviors. Think about it. Every time your cat engages in unwanted behavior, you spray them with water or even hit them. At that moment, your cat may run away, but when you're not present, they continue with their misbehavior. In this video, we will discuss how to communicate with your cat in a way they understand and introduce other simple and proper ways you can use to easily and quickly modify your cat's behavior without losing their love and trust. This video helps you stop your cats from doing things you hate in the long run. So how to communicate with your cat in a way they understand? Well, firstly, you should say no with the right tone and body language. Cats don't understand human language, so it's important to set realistic expectations when using the word no with your cat. However, cats are generally attuned to human emotions and can pick up on cues from our tone of voice, body language, and general demeanor. Therefore, when you say no, it's crucial to use an authoritative and firm tone without yelling, so they understand the seriousness of your message. It's also essential to communicate that you want them to stop their current behavior when you say no, apart from associating your no with your feelings of anger or disapproval. You can do this by picking them up and redirecting them to a more suitable activity. Consistently reinforcing this association will help the cat understand that the sound of no means they're being told off. In addition to saying no, some cat experts suggest hissing at your cat meanwhile. This is because hissing mimics cat language and can help them comprehend that the word no carries a negative connotation regarding their behavior. However, it's important not to overuse this technique if you want to be your cat's favorite person. Over time, frequent hissing may lead the cat to perceive you as unfriendly or hostile. Here's the common mistake when scolding a cat. Cats are not able to associate a punishment with something that happened minutes or hours ago. If you scold or punish your cat long after an incident occurred, they will not understand why you are upset or angry. This can lead to stress and fear in the cat. In order to effectively communicate with your cat, it is important to provide a timely response and intervention when you catch them engaging in unwanted behavior. By addressing the behavior immediately, the cat is more likely to understand the connection between their actions and your response. However, if you are unable to catch your cat in the act, it is best to avoid scolding or punishing them after the fact. Instead, focus on implementing preventive measures and redirecting their behavior towards more appropriate alternatives. Before we start discussing the negative association methods, it's useful to learn the importance of negative associations if you want to know how to train your cat under all circumstances in the future. Sometimes, even when you say no correctly, it can take a lot of time for cats to understand how you want them to behave, or they may not fully grasp that their actions are wrong. They might only recognize what is prohibited when you are present and repeat the behavior when you are out of sight. Therefore, while you are learning how to communicate with a cat in a way it understands, you can also learn methods that create negative associations, which are simple and quickly effective. The key to successfully stopping undesirable behavior is to associate an unpleasant consequence with the behavior you want to discourage. However, it's important to remember that punishing a cat remotely and out of its sight is an effective way to deter undesirable behavior without making your cat fearful of you. It's also important to consider the reasons behind the cat's actions so that you can provide an alternative way to meet the cat's needs. So how to keep cats off surfaces or paths? Let's use the table as an example. You can employ a few effective methods to discourage your cat from jumping onto it. One option is to place a mat with double-sided sticky tape or aluminum foil on the table. When your cat jumps onto the table, it will encounter the sticky surface or the uncomfortable feel and sound of foil under its paws. 
Another useful item is a motion-activated air canister. This device squirts air whenever it detects an object crossing its path. Cats will soon associate jumping on the table with unpleasant experiences. Notice the difference between water spraying and the motion-activated air canister? The cat doesn't directly associate you with the unpleasant experience. Moreover, consider why your cat wants to be on the table. Is it trying to disrupt your work and regain your attention? If so, it might be beneficial to spend more quality time playing with your cat and giving it adequate attention. Or if it frequently jumps on the table or counter near a window or windowsill, it may actually be seeking an opportunity to observe the animals and activities happening outside. Many domestic cats find this stimulating and entertaining. Cats are naturally curious and observant creatures. Watching the movements of birds, squirrels, or other animals outside allows them to engage their predatory instincts and keep their minds active. Therefore, while you can discourage your cat from jumping on the windowsill, if you don't provide them with a cat perch near a window, your cat may feel bored. Many cat owners also wonder how to prevent their cats from scratching on chairs, sofas, rugs, and other furniture. Well, Sticky Paws is a highly recommended solution. It doesn't harm the furniture, and most cats dislike the sticky sensation. Additionally, cats often scratch objects to express their natural animal instincts. So, ask yourself if they have alternatives, such as scratching posts, to keep their claws sharp and stretch their muscles. If not, provide your feline friends with multiple scratching posts near the areas they frequently scratch. By using both sticky paws and scratching posts, you can redirect their scratching behavior from unwanted areas to preferred ones. This way, your cat will still feel content to have outlets for expressing their natural instincts. We have a video discussing why cats enjoy sleeping with their owners and the types of bond it represents. However, if your cat frequently wakes you up in the middle of the night, such as walking on your body, here's a solution. Firstly, completely ignore them and refrain from responding. Let your cat understand that seeking your attention for playtime during your sleep will not yield the desired outcome. Secondly, incorporate entertainment into your pre-bedtime routine, such as providing dinner and engaging in playtime with your cat before bed. Additionally, consider providing toys or cat TV to keep them occupied while you sleep. By consistently implementing these practices, you will notice a positive change in their behavior soon. Many cats love chewing for various reasons. For instance, chewing helps kittens alleviate discomfort and soothe their gums during teething. It also contributes to maintaining a cat's dental health by keeping their teeth clean and healthy. Additionally, chewing serves as a stress-relieving activity for cats, providing both mental and physical stimulation. To address your cat's destructive chewing behaviors, you can try using taste deterrent products like bitter apple spray or bitter lime spray. These products are safe for pets and have an unpleasant taste that can deter unwanted chewing. Additionally, providing appropriate objects for your cat to chew on, such as dental treats or chew toys designed specifically for cats, can help redirect their chewing behavior. Besides negative association, there are times when it is necessary to adopt positive associations as well. Sometimes cats comprehend your commands but choose not to obey and persist in behaviors you wish to discourage due to a lack of motivation and incentive. To train your cat effectively, it is important to provide rewards for desirable actions. Employing positive association in cat training establishes a positive and enjoyable learning experience for your feline companion, encouraging them to willingly comply with your commands while strengthening the bond between you and your cat. By combining these rewards with the negative association methods mentioned earlier, you can motivate your cat to exhibit desired behaviors more quickly. For instance, you can incentivize your cat to use their scratching post regularly by rewarding them each time they engage with it. Likewise, if your cat tends to ignore you when called, you can reinforce their responsiveness by offering treats when they follow your directions. Over time, your cat will associate responding to your call with pleasurable experiences and eagerly come to you whenever called. Nevertheless, it is crucial to only use positive associations for desired behaviors and avoid rewarding your cat for undesirable actions. If your pet jumps on the table and receives cuddles, food, or attention, they are likely to continue the behavior. However, if there are no positive consequences when your pet jumps on the table, it will lack motivation to continue that behavior. Remember that cats do not have malicious intent, and they do not intentionally misbehave. They are naturally independent and have a strong desire for freedom. It is important to keep this in mind when disciplining a cat. 
Physical punishment is always the least effective method to discipline a cat and can have negative consequences. Cats may become afraid of you, develop hand shyness, and not understand why they are being punished, leading to the repetition of undesired behavior. Now that you have learned more about disciplining your cat, feel free to share your proper and useful methods for educating your cat in the comment section.